In the previous episode, I briefly talked about the man who was convicted in a rape case as a result of his addiction to porn. When I discussed with him some details, just to know how pornography could fuel his action to that extent, he stated the following. He said that pornography depicts the rape scene so dramatically to, to make the viewers feel as if women are in fact like the idea of being raped. It shows men that although women may resist in the beginning, but within few seconds she's in the act, as if this is what she's been waiting for. Such hints and messages in pornographic films feed the minds of so many men who would on the long run believe that rape is actually an enjoyable and acceptable act. In 2011 study, which has been published in Sexual Addiction and Compulsivity, as reported on the Huffington Post, they analyzed the effects of pornography use on sexual attitude and behaviors of fraternity college men. It found, as they have stated, that 83% of those who used mainstream pornography expressed greater intent to commit rape should they be assured they wouldn't get caught. As a person who has been talking about this issue for a while now, I received phone calls, emails, and messages from sisters who would complain about how their husbands sometimes would beat them up, slap them, and pull their hairs aggressively during intimacy. They were concerned about these behaviors and asking why would men turn violent all of a sudden. The first response I will have for them is, sister, go and ask your husband if he has been watching pornography. Because this is the only explanation. This is how men learn to be violent toward their wives as a result of what they constantly watch. This is what the porn industry has been feeding them with, dirty and perverted ideas about sexual intimacy. Janet Henson, a researcher who led a study on the effects of pornography on abused women, she found that of the women who were sexually abused, 58% stated that pornography played a role in their abuse. In another research concerning the same matter, she found that out of 198 abused women, 49.9% reported the use of pornographic materials by their abuser. In another study, it is stated, and I quote, one out of four abusive men made their partners participate with them in their use of pornography by either watching it or simulating the performances. These abusers were measured as being the most violent out of all abusers. End quote. This is my message for men. Listen up very attentively. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, before his demise, he had something to tell us, men. In his last sermon, he said, O oh people, it is true that you have certain rights with regard to your women, but they also have rights over you. Remember that you have taken them as your wives only under Allah's trust and with his permission. If they abide by your right, then to them belongs the right to be fed and clothed in kindness. Do treat your women well and be kind to them for they are your partners and committed helpers. I wanted to repeat that last part. They are your partners and committed helpers. My dear brothers, if, if you are addicted and been in this darkness for many years, ask yourself, isn't it time to open up to your beloved wife and ask her for help? Yes, she might react angrily at first, but be patient. I'm certain she will quickly cool down and offer you the necessary support. Otherwise, your addiction will lead you to violence, and that will go straight against the commands and the last will of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him.